Our next game here is LEGO Star Wars The Video Game. Not much more needs to be said. Now we have played this demo quite a few times on Demo Reel already. Um, it feels like this is the third or fourth time we play. I know we've played it at least twice, but maybe maybe three times we played before. Um, so I'm not gonna spend like a ton of time trying to like I don't know explore or, or mess around too much. I'm, uh, I feel like we've kind of already ex done everything that I care to show off in the game. I I don't know if um, I've done everything that's possible in the demo or not, but um, I, I just feel like we've we've kind of exhausted it. Um, so yeah, this this one's based off of the prequels, I guess, um, or at least it's the Phantom Menace is in this. Uh, you can you guys can read this text if you want. I'm not gonna try to read it. I don't I don't read fast enough to read that before it gets too far away. Cause it's just zooming by. It's a lot faster than in the movies, but. I, I understand why it would be um, but yeah so we've we've played this and we've played on uh, Lego Star Wars 2 and the demo in that one we play on uh, Tatooine in episode 4 um, and I like these games well enough um, I don't think I I, th I think I was disappointed the first couple times we played these on demo reel just because they had been kind of hyped up to me um, and I had this I don't, I don't know what I expected, but like they, the way that I had been introduced to them, like made it seem like they were these groundbreaking, um, hilarious, super fun and innovative games. And I don't know, maybe in the full game that you get a bit more of that, um, and there's more of a reason why that would be your take on it. Um, but in the demo, they're just they're a bit underwhelming. Um, but they're not bad or anything, they're just not what I had been, like, led to expect based off of, like, the reviews and the things I'd heard about them. Um, but I think they're fine. They're cute games. Uh, the, I think they're most fun when you're playing with somebody else. Um, when we played LEGO Star Wars 2, one of the times we played it, because <laughs> it's we played it a few times at Demon as well. Uh, but one of the times we played it, we got to play with um, uh, my sister. And that was a lot more fun than like this right here is playing playing these games by yourself for me is kind of boring I I feel like that's a little bit harsh um, but I every time we played these dem demos even the first time I played them when they were brand new to me I, I wasn't having a ton of fun but I do think they're more fun when you have somebody you can run around and play with I think that um, kind of elevates the the game a lot in terms of just like a fun a fun game to play to kind of pass the time like I I don't still don't think it's like uh, anything amazing or anything but I definitely think they're a lot more fun that way so I, I don't think we, that this demo goes very far if you just go straight through it like I'm trying to remember what all these switches do if they're even necessary these, these droids we gotta deal with um, do we like break these? Yeah, okay. Um, the main part of the demo that sticks out in my mind when I like remember playing this is from um, like uh, just a little bit past this one. We're in like a hangar area. Anyway, I uh, took over this droid's mind. Um, I don't know why, but I did. And uh, yeah, he's just gonna follow us. Looks like. Um, oh yeah, I guess I need to be him. For this part too, so let's go ahead and open this door. You just open all the doors. And just walk around and be the droid the rest of the game. And let the game play the Jedi. So let them. Hold on. Um. There we go. I need to do Jedi powers to open this door. So yeah, let's go on in here. I think this is where I was thinking of. Yeah. So I remember this area more than I do like the hallways. Um. I think I may be supposed to jump up there when I jump down in order to get those uh, Lego pieces up there. But it doesn't matter, I don't actually need the Lego pieces in the demo. Uh, in the full game they might be useful, but in the demo they don't really do anything but affect, like, they're just a score. Um, oh yeah, and there's these rolly droids. I thought those were so freaking cool when I saw Phantom Menace in the, uh, in the theater for the first time. Which was um, when it first came out. Like, I saw when it first came out. I wasn't real young, 
Um, I don't remember exactly how young I was. Um, because I don't even remember for sure offhand what year Phantom Menace came out. I just remember I was still in school, definitely. Um, because I, I know I was in high school when the, when episode 3 came out, so I was probably in like junior high or middle school or something like that when I saw Phantom Menace. I don't know. But anyway, I, um, I remember being kind of neutral on it. Like, uh, I know that, like, there was a lot of people who saw it when they were kids, and so, like, they have a much different opinion on it than people who saw it when they were older for the first time. Um, which is just kind of how it happens when we're kids. We like things more easily. There we go, okay. But, um, there were things about the first movie that I thought were cool when I was a kid. Um, and I thought those rolling droids were really neat. I thought they were nifty. Um, I don't remember what else I liked. Um, I think I liked Jar Jar at the start. I don't anymore. Um, I think the first time I saw him, I... I, I don't remember for sure if I actually liked him or if I was just neutral to him and for, couldn't remember, or I couldn't figure out why everybody else hated him so much. I remember, I definitely remember not understanding the Jar Jar hate. Well, which is funny to me now, because I, I, I really understand it. So, um, it's a little bit funny, but, um, I, uh, I don't think I was, there was too much that I, like, actively liked about the first one. The second one I liked a lot when I saw it the first time, just because it had lots of fighting in it, and I liked the fighting. Um, I was, again, I was still pretty young. And then the third movie came out, and I liked it because it was, it was dark, and I was in high school, and that meant it was good. Um, now I don't like any of them. Uh, I just don't. Um, okay, so we need to stand on these in order to deactivate the, the thing and let the, the droid guy get in here, because he can't hop over the, um, can't hop over the wall like we did. So we need to use the droid's ability to open this gate again. There we go. And we just all come on in here. I don't actually remember this part very well. I remember being in the hangar area. I think we spent a long time there the first time we played this. It seems like we were there forever. Um, but anyway, we're sneaking out uh, of the space station, and that's it. Fate of the Galaxy is in your hands. See, like, it, in my memory, the first time we played this demo, it took like a half hour. Because I was trying to do everything and explore and... Uh, I don't even know what all else, um, but it, like, it's actually a pretty short demo if you just play through the objectives and don't worry about trying to get every little piece of Lego stuff floating around and use the force on everything you can use it on. Um, but here we see the, uh, more of the game. Uh, Darth Maul, that was the thing I thought I liked about the first movie when I was a kid. I'm kind of neutral on Darth Maul now, mostly just feels like a wasted character design, but at the time like, the character design was enough. I thought he was cool. Uh, he had the double lightsaber and the, like, demon face. And, um, I still like the Darth Maul design. Uh, it's just, like, a really striking design, but, um, they didn't do anything with him. Uh, yeah. I remember, I remember when I was a kid and the original, or not the original, but the, the prequel trilogy was still coming out. That there was all, always always a rumor that Darth Maul was going to come back in the next movie. I remember hearing that a lot. Um, and you got to see a little bit of Darth Vader too. So yeah, there is a free play. Um, can we skip this? No? Um, I don't think I'm actually going to do the free play. But basically free play, you get to... Um, you can play as any character you want. And I think you can... I know in, in 2, in LEGO Star Wars 2, you can mix and match pieces to get uh, different characters. Um, but yeah, see here I'm already the droid. I guess because that's what I was playing as when I finished the main game. Um, so let's see. How do I... I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I can't... For some reason I can't press up <laughs> when I'm at the top of the screen. I hate doing that. Okay, so yeah. Using the shoulder buttons. Here we go. Now I can be the best character. I still gotta use the force though. Okay, there. So yeah, now I can just be Jar Jar. Just come out here. Hey, it's a me, a Jar Jar. Oh no! And 
close up. But he's back. He's fine. So yeah, we can be all kinds of cool Star Wars characters. Oh, it's just like a pilot. Hey, okay. Oh, now I'm one of them. Yeah! Take that. I'm a traitor. So yeah, like this part is fun. Um, and I think the main appeal to this game for me would be two-player um, free play mode. You can just yeah, just turn them off. That's great. Hey, hey, don't do that. I'm R2. There we go. So yeah, like this playing two-player in free play mode would be the um, the most fun, like the most potential fun for this game. And I think that's probably where a lot of the um, phrase that I had heard the game get came from. Um, we still only have this little limited area available here in the uh, in the demo, but yeah. I said I wasn't going to play through it, but it's so easy to just run through it now that I can just switch between characters however I want. Even just sitting here, just look at all these different people I can be. Yeah. Okay, there. Now we can be R2 and Silver C-3PO, and we'll just go ahead and play the whole stage like this, get a lot done this way. They don't even stay turned off like forever, so like R2 has no way to like permanently incapacitate these droids and just turn them off for a little bit. It's, but it's funny, I think, uh, just zap them and then just keep rolling along. Don't mind me. But yeah. Um, anyway, I, um, I'm gonna go ahead and quit here. You guys get the idea. And we've got another demo to play that I think is probably going to take longer. Um, if memory serves. I don't know. Games I don't enjoy tend to seem like they were longer in my memory than they actually were. But let's go ahead and finish this disc out. Okay, so our last game here is Sly 3. Uh, Honor Among Thieves, I think that says. It's kind of small, but I think that's what it is. Um, which, uh, I think we've played this one before. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was episode uh, 70 that we played both uh, Sly Cooper 2 and Sly Cooper 3. Um... And if you saw that episode, I had kind of a, a, a journey playing those, because I started out excited. I'd never played Slide Cooper before, um, and I was, like I wanted to like it a lot, because I like the character designs. I, I like, I don't know, I, I thought like an Anthro uh, Honorable Thief game would be a lot of fun. I, I just always thought I would like Slide Cooper, so I, I, I was looking forward to playing it. And I was really optimistic at the start, and then as I played it, I just kind of became less and less interested in it. Um, and I don't know why exactly, uh, I just really didn't have any fun playing it. And I am i eventually played the first one, too, in a different episode, but this will be our first time replaying one of those. Uh, and I, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm like, I'm optimistic that... I was just in a bad place, maybe I was just in a bad mood, or, or just not in the right mindset to play a Sly Cooper game, and maybe that's why I had such a hard time getting into it and having fun with it. Um, or it could just not be my game, I don't know. But we'll, we'll find out here, I'm, I'm, cause I'm feeling pretty good right now, I feel like, like uh, I, I'm a little bit apprehensive about playing this because I have this negative association in my head, like, oh, I played it before and I hated it. Um, but I... I don't think that uh, that'll affect me too much here, because I'm, I'm really hoping to be surprised and be like, oh, this is better than I remember, because um, I don't actually remember the demo all that well. Uh, I just mostly remember how I felt after recording uh, the part, the episode, um, and not episode, but like the, the second and third game, when I, when I played those in episode 70, and I just remember how I felt after playing them, and that's, that's mostly it. Like, I remember a couple of specific missions, but I don't remember which games any of them were for. I think Slide 3, I want to say in that one we just did a bar fight, and like, that was... Yeah, Lemonade Brawl, that's it. Um, so... Uh, I wish I had somebody to do two-player with. Um, so we've got one, two, three ga uh, levels we can play. I can't do the Sly Carmelita. Um, so... Yeah, the, I remember doing the Lemonade Brawl. We're going to play each of them just a little bit. I'm not going to like put a lot of time or effort into doing them well or trying to succeed at them. Um, so, okay, so there's a Lemonade Drinking Contest. I don't remember the drinking contest part. I just remember fighting in this location. I do definitely recognize 
this, uh, I guess, lemonade bar. Um, I guess that's what it's supposed to be. I, or it's just a bar, a regular bar that happens to have lemonade. I don't know. But here we are. Listen up, dirtbags. Time to clear out. From now on, this bar is Cooper Gang Turf. Tough talk, wagga. But you ain't got no respect with us. We here are known around these parts for our drinking skills. And this just happens to be a lemonade bar. Sly, I'm not sure this is such a good idea. If a lemonade drinking challenge is what you had in mind, then the three of us will take on the best three lemonade drinkers you've got. Fair dinkum. Losers have to clear out. So, the only challenge to drinking lemonade is just like, eventually you'll get full of liquid and have to pee, right? There's no like, it's not like with alcohol where, okay, mash buttons to drink faster. Okay, so I guess I'll just smash buttons. Alright. Yeah, this part does seem kind of familiar with us just drinking these vials of piss, but, um, anyway, yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll just do this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember Sly Cooper looking as weird as he did in that cutscene. Like, he, um, I the way his mouth was animated looked super weird to me. I, I don't know what, what it was. I don't, I just don't remember him looking like that. Uh, just the way his mouth was animated, mostly. Oh, my fingers are tired. Uh, drinking lemonade is harder than I thought it would be. Okay, there we go. I got it. Got a big old bird by me. I don't remember if I won that before or not. That's cheating! Why, the turtle spill more than he drank. Down here, there's only one thing we do with cheaters. Turn on the fence, Bruce. It's time we gave these cheaters a beat. He did spill a lot. I was noticing that when we were playing. But anyway, so... I guess I'm playing as the turtle. Um, I think I can switch between them, but I don't know how. I don't, I don't know if I want to. I like this guy. Um, I want. I, I think I want to be the turtle. I like the wheelchair thing. He didn't have this in the other two games. Like I think it was either at the end of Sly 2 or at the start of this one. He got put in the wheelchairs. We saw that in the opening uh, credits um, when we. Oh, did I get knocked out? Or why did I change? Hold on. There we go. I, I don't know why I switched to being Sly, but now I'm, now I'm Sly Cooper, so I guess this is what we're doing now. I'm just hitting people. I don't know what I'm supposed to... I don't know how the... I don't remember the, the combat controls, you know? So I'm just... I'm playing this like God of War. I'm just mashing the buttons. Uh, although I was wrong about God of War being something you could do the whole game that way. There are a couple points. Wait, I guess you have to pay attention a little bit, and I didn't. And that's why I couldn't beat the Hydra. But, um... Anyway, on this game, I don't think there's a big secret. Like, um, oh, there's this energy thing here. Am I supposed to do something with this? Oh, I press circle and... Oh, wait. Did... What? I don't know what happened. I, I pushed the button, I think, but it changed colors. But I don't know what it does. I don't, I don't know. It didn't, like, turn off the fence. It looked like it was electric, so I thought it was tied to that fence, but... I have no idea what it actually did. Um, they just never stop. There's no end to these like kangaroos and uh, dingoes. I guess they're supposed to be. Uh, these just no end to them. Oh, I walked into the fire too. That was dumb. Just keep coming. You holding up, Murray? Yeah. Oh, and I guess it just switches me automatically at certain points in the fight. Okay. Um, I don't remember doing that before, but all right. We just uh trade out here. Okay. Um, hopefully we're getting close to the end of this. I don't know. The the fights in this... The, like, this isn't bad uh, necessarily. Like, if we had fights um, that controlled the way this is controlling, um, that just came in every like now and then in, in like missions where we were stealing something or whatever and you just had to fight off somebody. This would be fine. Like, this is... I don't know, this doesn't feel that different from a lot of the uh, action-adventure games I played as a um, as a kid. The difference here that's kind of annoying with this level specifically is just the, how many of them there are, because the fights aren't fun to play by themselves, and they're going on this long with this many people is kind of boring, uh, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, 
But there we go, it's finally over. It just went on longer than I would have liked. The Cooper Gang rules the roost. We're the kings of the hill. The totally maxed out heavyweight champions. Those guys won't be coming back here anytime soon. Um, guys, looks like they saved their big guy for last. He's wearing that freaky bad spirit mask. He must be so jacked. We should work together to take this guy down. That mask has a powerful force in it. Okay, so maybe this will require some thinking outside the box. And maybe this is where that button comes into play too, I don't know. He destroyed the electric field. And the bar, but I don't know... I don't know why he did that. I don't think he's... That sounded like babbling. The game's a little bit quiet, so I couldn't understand. I wasn't sure if I could just not understand him because he was quiet or... Um, anyway, let Marion Bentley stun him before attacking. Okay, how are you guys going to stun him? Get him over here? Okay. Um, I don't... He, he told me something, but I couldn't... He said to do something and he'll pull the trigger, but I don't know. I'm assuming that he's going to turn the fence back on? Um, but I'm not positive about that. Anyway, did I die? Oh, I think he killed me. Man, that was fast. I don't, I just don't understand how I'm supposed to let them stun him. But I guess... Lead him over by Bob and I'll pull the trigger! Lead him over by Bob? Who's Bob? I thought the hippo's name was M Mary. Okay, well, did that work? Okay, well, we did stun him a little bit. Okay. I don't... Man, he hits so hard. Uh, and when the camera gets behind him, I can't really avoid him. Okay, this is going to be our last attempt here. And it's probably going to be fast-forwarded. I don't think I'm going to have anything more to say. Um, so I'm just going to fast-forward the fight and you guys can see it. Did it. Okay, cool. Finally, that guy was the mask. It's getting away? We might have cleared out this bar, but that mask is sure to keep making trouble for us. We need to destroy it. Okay, so that's the lemonade fight. I guess. What a lemonade. Okay. I did a I completed a job. I think it's the first time I've actually completed a mission in one of these games. Um, so now we'll fly the biplane. I don't expect to complete this one. I'm bad at flying missions. Um, but hopefully it'll be kind of, kind of fun. We'll see. Uh, I want to shoot X and square for speed. Circle for a barrel roll! Gotta do a barrel roll. Okay. So... The winner is the last man standing. So I guess just shoot everybody. I don't have any allies or anything. Every, every plane for itself. Even the ones that are colored like me? I don't... I don't know. I'm just trying to take out one right now. Okay. I think... That seems like a fine objective to me. Just take out one at a time. And eventually... I'll either get shot down myself or they'll all be... They'll all be blown up. Yeah! Do a little barrel roll there. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Shit, do I need energy? I can't see anything. I'm just going... I'm out of bullets. Okay, so I need to... Something about the bridges? Okay. Yeah, I see a glowing thing under there. I guess I need to pick that up. Okay. Uh... There. Yeah, and I took a guy out by headbutting him while I was at it. It's pretty cool. Okay, I need to be more conservative with my bullets. I didn't think about running out. I was just thinking, like, in Crash Bandicoot 3. Um... When I let's played that, I, I don't remember running out of bullets at any point. We had an unlimited supply um, to get us through the whole level. Here, 
looks like it's not the case. So, yeah, just try to be smart about it, bullets. I don't know what the, um, what happened when I, like, looked like I was about to crash for a second and, like, seemed to lose my energy. I don't... Maybe I just got shot, maybe, and I wasn't noticing at the time. That That's the only thing that makes sense to me, is that maybe I had gotten shot. There are 30 of these? Jesus Christ. Okay. And they're not, like, taking each other out either or anything, so... Wait, it's doing it again. What, what is happening when it does that? What is, what is causing that? Is it something I should be worried about? I honestly don't know. Uh, can't seem to get any more of these planes down. There we go. Six out of thirty. It's this is gonna take forever. That's I think that's part of my problem with uh, this game is that like uh, it gives you these missions that are really simple, um, but then like just the scale you have to do this simple mission at, it feels like padding. Um, like, in, instead of giving you fun things to do, it just gives you a boring thing to do and tells you to do it for a long time. Um, and I I don't know if that's just the demos rep not representing the game well, or if the whole game is that way, but it, it's I think that's the main thing that like really turned me off to um, this franchise when I played it on demo reels. Um, I just don't have a lot of fun playing it, and like some of the things it's having me do would be fine if they were like half the length that they actually are in the game, but then they're they're just not. Uh, like this is gonna take forever. I still don't know if I'm really supposed to be shooting every plane. Like with the number with that thirty there, it makes me think maybe I am. But then why are some of the planes black and some of them blue like me? I don't know. I'm out of bullets again though. Gotta go under the bridge. Get the bullet thing. I don't know what that's supposed to be, that item. It doesn't look like a bullet thing to me. Um, I guess it's supposed to be like a, a turret gun, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Got another one down. They go down pretty easily when I once I'm actually hitting them, but the problem is I'm a really bad shot, so I don't always hit them. Let's go ahead and refill since we're by one of these. Uh, yeah, but it's like I miss a lot, and that's another part of the reason why this looks gonna just take forever. <laughs> like, why? Who would want to play this that long? It's not fun enough to warrant playing it for that long of time. Um, that's I, don't know. I think that's my biggest complaint more than anything. I think. Um, like, I think I like the characters and the stories, um, from what I've seen of them, I think I would enjoy that element of the game, and maybe if I was playing the full game, that would be enough to kind of carry me through the less than fun levels. Um, that I don't think that's really a compliment. Um, like, the story's interesting enough that I don't care that the game isn't fun, you know? And I, I don't even know if the story actually is that interesting, but I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, I would probably enjoy a Sly Cooper movie more than, um, um, is it just because I go up too steep? Is that what causes that? I would probably enjoy a Sly Cooper movie more than playing the game. There we go. Man, I am hurt. Is there healing items? I haven't seen any items, like, glowing items other than the gun turret things. So I think when I run out of health, I'm just out. So I need to be careful about the bullets I take. Alright, how many bullets I take? Boy, we're almost to 20 though. We might, might actually be possible. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm gonna fast forward until something interesting happens. Either I die or I win, uh, probably. Because I don't think I'm gonna have anything else interesting to say about this. But I do kind of want to show how far I can get just trying it. So we'll go ahead and, and see what we can do. Got it. 
Barely. I w a couple more bullets and I think I would have been down, but we, we did it. Again, I don't think we cleared that the first time we played it、uh, in the other episode, but we did here.、Uh, sorry, fast forwarded if anyone was interested in seeing that, but it was just going slowly and I didn't feel like I had anything else to say about it. So the shaman escapes. I remember this stage. I remember this one.、Um, I remember all three of these the more I think about it. But I, I think this was the one I hated the most. So, circle to possess unsuspecting guards and run them into the drills. Hold L1 to hide. Okay, so we've got this koala shaman guy. Hail, O guru of the stone! Murray has purified Ayers Rock! And now I humbly deliver your walking stick and moonstone. The time for escape has come! You have done the best, eh? Oh, man, I think, fool. Thank you, you're too kind. But tell me, how do you plan to escape? I'm a lunar dig, man, and bend this man, man. Gad zooks! You can transform yourself! Why, once you change shape. A guard is sure to come inside and investigate! I better see what I have. I'm never going to get some of them all. I'm not going to be. Heh <laughs> heh, too true! Wait, here comes a guard! Okay, so. What did it change shape? It's a. Oh, it's a kangaroo from uh, before. Okay, so I'm going to transform. Master, you're the greatest! That jump's totally full! Once his back is turned, use your powers to take over his mind. Okay, so. I'm supposed to get behind him. I, I didn't realize. Okay. Well, wait, it, I pressed circle. But why didn't I get behind him? I mean, I was, I was behind him and I pressed circle. Okay, so hold L1 to disappear. It's time to see sticks. Okay, and he gets away from me. And I thought it said circle was what I had to press. Oh, wait. I, well, I jumped on his back, and that didn't do anything. I don't know.、Um, so when I'm, I'm hitting, he leaves, and like, I can get behind him pretty easily. Doing that. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I have to like jump up and then press circle while I'm directly above him, and then that's how I do it. Okay. I just missed the instructions.、Um, so head towards the drills, which are.、Uh, were there, I guess? Yeah. I'll just sneak along up here, I think is probably the best way to go. Can I type what rope? Okay, I guess not. I thought I could just walk across that, but I, I couldn't. Ugh. So, yeah, I'm supposed to hide. Obviously, I failed.、Um, I really failed. I need to get out of the light for a little while. Oh, okay. No, shit! I thought I made it for a second. Ah, I didn't realize it was gonna drop me right back on the edge of that. I thought it was gonna. Okay. So, this time it started me back here. I guess it just takes a little bit of your health when it does that? I don't know. It seems like there's more dingoes everywhere now. Okay, so I'm hidden now. There's a rock. Now, the guy that I thought was gonna find me didn't come this way anyway, so I guess it didn't matter. Um. Trying to figure out. Okay, I think over here is where I need to go. Once I'm down here, it's a little bit harder to see where I'm supposed to go.、And、the camera moves kind of weird. It doesn't work the way I think it should, so I keep accidentally、uh, moving it the wrong way or moving it too far. Come on, okay. Just wanted to hide from that searchlight, which I think I might would have been fine anyway, but. What is that? Okay. Is this dropping random bombs down here, I guess? Didn't hit me, so I guess it's fine. I have no idea where I am.、Uh, a map would have been useful here. Or something, because、like, everything looks the same, so I have no idea where I am or where I'm going.、Um, 
Uh, I missed. She. Oh. Okay, this time I didn't fall into the water though. Okay, so I'll grab this guy and. I guess I'm supposed to run him into something, but I don't know what. Let's run him into the water, I guess. <laughs> I fell into it too, though, so. Okay, and. Alright, I remember being here. Um. I still don't know where I'm supposed to go. Whoa. Okay, so that. Ugh. It hopped me up into the air, so I thought I would be jumping higher, but. I mean, I am jumping higher, but I thought it. I'd be able to make this, but for some reason I couldn't. All right. Oh, and this thing moves around a lot. Eh. Ah, why can I not make these jumps? It looks like I should be able to make it. There we go. Okay, so I think these are the drills I'm supposed to destroy by running guards into them. But uh, I don't see any guards here. How far am I supposed to run them? I thought they would just be walking around here and maybe I could grab one and run them into it, but am I supposed to like... If I'm far away, I'm not even going to be able to find this place again. Well, I'm, especially while I'm controlling a guard and running around with them like that. Okay, so there's one over here. I need him to be facing away from me though. Oh, there's actually two of them. Great. Okay. So... I don't know how, how I feel about this with there being two of them here. See. Okay, so now I can run this guy into a drill. That... Did, did that work? Uh, I thought that's what it told me to do! I don't know. Head towards the drills. That's all I was saying. Now, I thought it said something about ramming the guards into the drills. Did I do it wrong? Uh, I don't know. I don't actually care, and we've played this for a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and quit. I just really, really don't care about the shaman mission. Um, the other two were fine, just too long, and this one, I feel like it didn't introduce it well. I, some, there was something I, I just don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know. I... Uh, I just didn't care enough to try to figure out. So anyway, that's our last game on this disc. Um, overall a pretty fun disc. Like, I didn't hate any of these games. I just complained a lot about Sly, but I, I just like complaining about Sly. Killzone wasn't my thing. Um, but you know, Yakuza was pretty fun. Uh, these two games I would have liked a lot in high school, uh, around the time this game came out. Probably same with Lego Star Wars. But, uh, yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, normally I would say come back next week and there'll be a new one um but i actually don't know i've been kind of thinking about trying to scale back how many demo reel episodes i do uh just because i've been i've been working really hard and, and putting a lot of effort into keeping um keeping up with weekly videos and like there's no real reason for me to it's like it's not like i make money off this channel this isn't my job or anything i do this for fun uh so uh, I've just been stressing myself out unnecessarily, so I'll get a new demo reel out when I can. Maybe it'll be next Friday, maybe uh, maybe it won't. But you know, if you guys are subscribed to me, um, and if you aren't, go ahead, by all means. But uh, if you subscribe to me, you should see it in your updates when it comes out, whenever it is. Um, I'm probably still going to shoot for Friday uploads, so if you, if you don't want to subscribe for whatever reason, you want to just check back then. That's another way you can find when there's new demo reels. Um, but yeah, this disc was a request. If you have a disc you'd like to request, feel free to. Uh, I can't make any promises. If I have the disc, I'll certainly make an effort to play it soon. And if I don't have it, I'll see if I can find it. Um, sometimes I, I get lucky and find discs that people want on eBay or whatever. Um, but you know, it's a crapshoot if I'll be able to actually find it. So uh, we'll see. But, you know, I, I don't mind people making requests. I just can't promise that I'll be able to fulfill them all. Um, but yeah. Uh, I hope you guys will come back for whenever the next episode does come out. Hopefully it won't be too long. Uh, I should be starting uploading my Let's Play of Jay Cocoon very soon. So if you're interested in Jay Cocoon at all, uh, check back for that. Uh, hopefully that'll be relatively soon. It'll just depend on how many episodes I can record in advance and kind of get a head start on that. 
So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you all again later. And in the meantime, here is the trailer for Disgaea 2.